please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream More. If you're new and if you're already a dreamer, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So today we are going to be going over how to sub on glitter notebooks from the Dollar Tree. So today, so it's, I'm going to be doing it on a um, gray one so you can see it. Because the other ones, I don't know if you're really going to be able to see it or not. I'm going to try them, but I'll probably do like black or something on that. But because this is kind of colorful, I was like, let's just try it with the gray. This is literally just a regular um, spiral notebook from the Dollar Tree. And it is... Um, glitter so it's really cute and we can sub on this so i'm gonna be subbing on this today this is my first time doing it and so i'm gonna measure this and then i'm gonna make sure that my image in silhouette is large enough and going to be proportioned where i want it so yep i'm gonna measure it i'll tell you what the measurements are and then i'll print that out and sub it on there okay so actually the inches are on the back of here 10.5 by 8 inches so I don't have to measure it. It already gave it to me. Yay, us, right? All right, so now let's go ahead and I want to see how large I want the image to be. So here's the thing. I am not taking these out. I'm literally going to put it on the um, heat press like this. So I want to make sure it's not too wide so that I don't get this because I'm not taking this out and doing all of that. I'm not cut clipping. I'm not. So I'm just going to put it on a heat press like this. So I want to make sure that it's not too wide so it won't mess with this. Okay. Okay. So we know it's 10.5 in height. So how large do I want my image on the paper? And if you watch my other videos, you know what this means in silhouette. So if you haven't, go ahead and watch those. So I think I want my image to be about 9. I do 9.5. 9 and then I have an inch at the top, half an inch at the top, half an inch at the bottom. Now I think I might do a... I do a 9.3, 9.34 for the height, and then 6.0 for the width, okay? Because the width is 8, so we want to make sure that we have a little bit of space on the sides, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and print it out. Like I said, we're in, um, let me turn this flash off so we are in silhouette studio i'm gonna go to file and print by now you know we're using my epson and people had asked me before what are my settings i have a video where i specifically went over the settings and um how to uh, sublimation beginners how to get popping colors so i talked about that in popping colors and this is the, my preset is popping colors each video i won't do that but you can go and watch my other video so you can see what my settings are because i have it saved as a preset so i don't have to keep doing it every single time so it just saves the hassle it already is mirrored in my presets it already is mirrored so i don't have to keep doing that so if you are asking me that then make sure you watch that other video, okay? So just to try to make it easier, so every video won't be so long and that, so I won't keep saying the same thing over and over. Um, that's how I got my popping colors. So we're gonna go ahead and print it. Okay, so here is the image. It came out really, really cute. As you know, I always try to um, I'm actually going to put this under the heat press for a second so it can like solidify the colors. 
and kind of dry it. So I'm going to put it up under there for like two seconds. And then I'm going to actually tape it on top of the um, notebook. So sublimation is just, you know, a special type of ink. So I put it up under the heat press to kind of dry it a little bit. And set the colors in. And then I'm going to tape it on there so it won't be like wet and smudging or anything. I'm not sure. Mine never did it because I always did this. But some people, it may smudge. I've seen where people like smudge. They're like, why isn't it straight or perfect or it looks like a um, shadow? And it's because the ink was still wet when they put it on. So I just put it up under here for a couple seconds and get it to set in. And then I put it on top of whatever I'm doing. Okay, so I have it up under there long enough. Maybe even being too long. Well, probably not, but so I'm gonna go ahead and I can see the image through here and I'm going to place it where I want to have it on the notebook. And this is a really good size. So I'm gonna make it to how I want it on there. See where this dust, okay, the dust goes right there. And you can see through it at the top of it, so you can see exactly where you're putting everything. So this is how I'm gonna put it on there. And if it, oop, if it was smaller, excuse my nail, don't worry about my nails. I broke, broke them and then I had a, have a mosquito bite on my hand right there. So anywho, if it was smaller, I'd be able to tape it better, but I actually really don't even need to tape it because it's fine where it is. So I kind of don't need to tape it. So I'll save some of my little heat tape. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to open the book up and I'm going to bring it to the edge. All the way to the edge. Make sure it's where I want it to be on here. And then I'm going to get my butcher's paper. I'm, I bought this cool thing that actually like cuts the butcher paper up. So I can't wait to get that in the mail. So in the meantime, I just cut it with my scissors or tear it off. But it's a, like a, a thing that cuts it off and I can't wait to get it. So I'm gonna take the butcher's paper and I'm going to put it on top because I don't want to mess my mats up. It's really hot up under here. And I'm going to press it at 400 for 60 seconds. And this is my first time, so I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, so the heat press just went off. You can see, you can't use the butcher paper again because I don't know if you can see if it's like a shadow. And you don't want that shadow they call like a ghost to get on anything else so you have to throw that out but let's take a look and see the first time sublimating on dollar store glitter notebooks oh it's so pretty oh my goodness she's gonna be so excited when she sees this Look how pretty that turned out. Homeschool mode on. Oh, yeah, that's so cute. And I have a little boy image, too. Oh, this is adorable. And Maddie has two puff balls, so she's going to really love it. Can you see? The, you see? Yes, I want it. It's yours. I got it for you. You like it? You put it in that pink thing? It's so cute. You like so just because I wanted to, I'm gonna put this on a glitter um notebook too, but I'm gonna put it on a pink one and I'm going to put inspire on here. So I'll figure out which font I use.
and I'm going to just see how it subs. And I think I'm going to use it on the pink one. And so, like, all of my inspirational things or motivational things, I think I'm going to put it on in that notebook just for myself. I said, that was kind of cute when I made for Maddie. Let me make one for myself. <laughs> So stay tuned, I'll show you how this one turns Okay, out. so this is the image that I decided to go with. I'm going to put Inspire Motivate on there. And I'm using Lovely Script. This is directly out of Silhouette Studio. And we're going to print this out. And I'm going to put this on the pink glitter notebook. We're going to see how this one looks. I wish I had another gray one, but they were, um, I didn't have one. So we're going to put it on the pink and see how it looks. Oh, maybe blue. I have a blue one, too. Hmm, Nipsey Blue. Maybe I'll put it on the blue one. Okay, we'll see. All right. It's only right if I'm doing nip. I got to do it on the blue, right? So here's the image. I put it over a little bit more just to try to see, and I did it the wrong way. I was trying to do something, but I did it the wrong way. I was trying to give a part more space, and I did it wrong, so that's okay. So I'm going to cut some of this off. And then, I still want to do my pink, because y'all know I'm a pink girl. That's my favorite color. Even though this pink is not my favorite pink, this is like a reddish pink. But I'm going to put this girl on here. I printed this out the other day, and it was the wrong size for my tumbler. So, you got to be smart. So, I'm going to make it into a notebook cover. I have another one I want to do, too, because I forgot I had that one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit of this off so I could get it in the middle. Because I was trying to do something, I did it backwards. Now, I don't want to cut the wrong thing off. But we got this. Put a little bit of this paper on. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to, everything is mirrored. Uh oh, you can't see it. Everything is mirrored. And I'm going to put it on here and sublimate on the blue glitter. Like I said, it's um, it's um dark, so I hope that we can see it. I'm gonna put the, the bottom a couple of pieces off so I can put it in the middle. But yeah, so this is really cool. I said this is so pretty. Dollar Tree come through, so I have to find some more at other Dollar Trees because it's hard to find. Did everybody find out about it? And then it's back to school. Uh -oh. So then it's back to school. So everybody is taking a piece. Okay, so let's put the placement on here. All right. So now I'm gonna see where I want it. So now let's see where I want it on here. I have to make sure. Going too far over. I'm gonna put it down some so I could get it. Almost put the butcher back on. And it's black too, so I definitely want to have one of that on my pad. I 
hope it didn't move because I didn't tape it down. So I pray it didn't move. So I hope it didn't move. Like I said, when I put the thing down, I didn't tape it. So, okay, it didn't move. Whew. I was so nervous. I'm like, I hope this thing didn't move. So let's see how this turns out. With good old Tupac and Nipsey Hussle. Oh, okay. That's cute. But see, I knew the blue was going to be dark. So it turned out really good. But I knew that blue was going to make it dark. So it's still, it's still cool. But I knew the blue. I'm like, ah, that blue is not going to work right. But it is good still. So now we're going to put her in here. And that's going to be done for the sublimating on. And I take this one down because I was nervous. And then we're going to be done with sublimating on Dollar Tree glitter. So for this one, I probably, if I had it like all black, all solid colors, it would have looked a little bit better. I mean, this looks dope, actually. It looks dope. It looks, it really does look dope. But if it was like all solid colors, it probably would look even um, more, what's the word I'm looking for? Define, define. That's the word I'm looking for. It would look more defined. But this actually is dope, the way that turned out. So you could do dark colors. You just want to make sure that you use the right, um, oh, and there's the last one. You just want to make sure that you use... Uh, good colors, deep colors. All right, let's see how this little girl turned out. So this is my tumbler. She's a shirt. I'll show you the shirt because I didn't show you the shirt in the other ones. So I'll show you the shirt I made for her because she's dope. And this is hot, so you want to be very careful. Well, when I tell you I love subbing, subbing is amazing. This is so interesting. It's just so addicting and neat. I could have put words there if I wanted to, but I just wanted to show it on a pink. So as you see, these colors are popping. I did say I was going to show you guys the shirt. Here is Madison and I with the shirts on as well as with the tumbler. It turned out really, really cute. I subbed it for 400 degrees at 60 seconds for all of these items. Yeah, we thought we were cute. <laughs> we had us a good time. Okay, guys. So that is how you sublimate on Dollar Tree glitter notebooks. If you see, the color definitely pops more with this color, but the other ones look great. And I wish you could, everything always looks better, of course, in person. The camera can't pick up everything, but if it looks good to you guys on here, in person, it looks like three times better. So this was a great, great success. If you guys have any questions, concerns, comments, please don't hesitate to ask me. You guys be safe. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And go ahead, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Bye. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.